Katie, the Pirates had another very successful trip back east. Lexington went 3-1 and one at the Transylvania Invitational. Uh, let's first talk about that match against the University of Chicago. Talk about how tough it is to beat a quality team twice within a one-week period. Yeah, yeah. That w I don't know if we've ever experienced that before, playing such a good opponent um, in just a close proximity of time. And yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, I know Chicago was really up for the challenge. They, they really, of course, wanted to beat us after falling short in that first round. Um, and really, overall, I thought we played really, really well, and so did Chicago. It was kind of a battle. I mean, they had sets where they were dominant, we had sets where we were dominant, and we had to battle it out at the end. Um, and if I'm remembering correctly, we had to come back from behind in that, um, in that fourth set, and we were able to do that. So yeah, I was just really proud of how our team competed against a really, really um, challenging opponent. Um, and it was just, yeah, it was a fun match to play. The next morning, uh, a dramatic comeback victory against Texas Lutheran. You had mm -hmm. to overcome a very good Bulldogs team. Uh, you had to overcome losing one of your top players mm -hmm. midway through the match. Uh, and yet this team found a way to pull it out, mm -hmm. uh, facing down match points in that fourth set. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about the grittiness and, and what you saw come out of this team in that match. Yeah, I was really impressed with just their their toughness, their will, just um, kind of they found a way to play together and, um, and score when it mattered. And yeah, halfway through we lost Ella, one of our middles, and so both Anne Blessed and Abby, our right sides, found time in the middle and obviously, you know, not their position, out of their comfort zone a little bit, but was just so proud of them and proud of how our team rallied um, around them and just worked together to kind of raise their level of play, knowing that we were missing one of our key players. And yes, Texas Lutheran was a great team. Um, hadn't seen them in a while, and in a good way, I think they, they surprised us. They were um, very consistent. They were really sound defensively. We had to work really, really hard to score offensively. And in that fourth set, you know, it really could have gone either way. We were um, down, had to find our way back in. Um, I think the final score was 31-29. Um, so yeah, Texas Lutheran had match point multiple times and we just battled and fought and really, really impressed with our, our mentality and the way we were able to find a way. You knew setting up the schedule these two tournaments were going to be challenging. Yeah. Uh, did you get out of that experience what you hoped as a coach for this team? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Um, I mean, I think we're in a really good place right now. I just, I feel like every single match we've played, um, we've learned a lot about our team. We've, we've gotten better every single match. We've played against really challenging opponents. Um, we've been exposed in good ways, you know, our weaknesses. Um, we've learned about our strengths. And I just think our girls, most importantly, have just competed at a really, really high level. And I so I think that's going to um, really help help us, hopefully, as we head into conference um, starting out this weekend. And speaking of which, yeah. it's a challenging opening weekend. You're at Pacific Lutheran in Puget Sound. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, the toughest trip of the yeah. season for any school in the mm -hmm. conference. Uh, talk about what you've seen on film, what you know about the Lutes and the Loggers mm -hmm. this season that will present a challenge. Yeah, well, I think, um, I mean, similar to us, they're returning some good players, but they've lost a couple of key players in certain positions. Um, you know, PLU had a good start to their season, as did UPS. Um, and, you know, I just think they're going to be eager um, to compete and, and to beat us. I think we can expect them to be playing at a really, really high level. Um, you know, I just think they're, they're really consistent defensively, especially they are returning their libero, who has gotten libero of the year multiple times in our conference, Haley. Um, and so I know she's really, really active in the back row. Um, so we're going to have to be really strategic and have a plan with um, trying to um, find ways to score against her. And then, yeah, UPS, I think they're deep. Their roster is really deep. I think they have a lot of really talented players. Um, I think one of their strengths has always just been, you know, blocking. I think they serve really tough. Um, so I just think we're going to have to put you know, back-to-back -back nights together where we're just playing consistent um, 
And most importantly, I always tell a girl, it's just every day working to get better, you know, whatever that result is. I just want them to continue to find a way to get better and to compete. Um, and so we're really, really looking forward to this weekend. It should be a lot of fun.